Well, the introduction to open intelligence, when we hear that for the first time or in the beginning, it, it seems like, wow, how can I understand open intelligence in short moments? And, and that's what, what the Balanced View Training provides. It provides like the introduction to open intelligence and then all these tools to make it obvious in, in daily life. And especially when we think we don't understand anything or it's not what it is in my experience, then just to come back and use all of the four mainstays, which are the tools to empower open intelligence, just again and again, even if it seems like it's not working. And by how can we recognize that what is already present, open intelligence, vast, our vast intelligence that is clear like the sky. It seems like impossible that it is us. But in coming back and uh, testing out the four mainstays, I'll explain in a moment what that is, then, um, then you'll see, and this was in my experience, it, it becomes obvious. It becomes obvious because it's, it's our natural state, it's so natural. And what, what I also experience is then suddenly everything looks much friendlier. Like not only yourself, but also every, everything, everything around you. And it's as if everything lights up. And it doesn't mean that we deny what's happening all over the world. And looking away. It's actually in that great balanced view and perspective. It is like standing on the top of the mountain, seeing everything and also feeling everything. That's why the short moments, which is one of the mainstays, is like crucial. It's always there, but it's a short moments of open intelligence. It repeats many times until it becomes obvious. You now we can rely on open intelligence, on the vast intelligence that you can al always count on. And, um, and there's complete relaxation, there's clarity, and there's the power to know. It's, it's a powerful energy and force that is innate in every human being. And that's definitely needed when we look out, well, first on our own life, our relationships, but then also on the worldwide level. And the conflicts are happening, the emotions and thoughts, anger, hatred, it plays out on all levels and in ourselves as well. So what to do with all these thoughts and emotions that like they can go crazy. Like a short moment of open intelligence is short moments of peace and short moments of perfect love. Short moments of solutions rather than a limit, limiting our mind into a net of descriptions. And that's basically, that's the invitation of the, of the training. And so the four mainstays are like they, they empower open intelligence in all kinds of ways. So the, the simple practice, we all can do it right here, a short moment. And then, then the trainings that include written texts that just point and confirm and evoke open intelligence. And that's amazing to test out, just a one-day training. I think it's actually today, a one-day training, reading through a text that empowers open intelligence. And, um, and then we have the, as I've spoke about, the 12 empowerments, which is a, is a training that just unlocks, basically unlocks the mind and opens up all these limitations and what is obvious is the vast clear mind just right here because it's always actual always obvious it's always here but it but the descriptions of thoughts and emotions they limit they limit us to like a small point yeah. like when we wake up okay so I, thought, I was thinking what did I think this morning actually I was actually thinking I want to go to the beach because it's my last day in Goa. <laughs> I have to see the beach. <laughs> and, um, 
But you know, it doesn't mean that thoughts and emotions stop or, you know, oh, I don't want to go, obviously. Well, you know, we're going to Bangalore. It's a little bit of a different setting. <laughs> we're going to Bangalore. And then, of course, we're doing trainings there. The perfect as you are trainings. It's also balanced view, but you know, we see the perfect as you are. And, and also, we're going with the music, um, as the vibe life, obviously. And, um, but see, if, if going into a whole story about it, oh, I just really like to stay at the beach. I mean, still, that's, that's fine. All these thoughts, they, but it's still, it's such a freedom to let data be as it is and rely on open intelligence that, that always has such energy, such power, such openness to everything as it is, and the power to know what is the next step, what to do. Just don't feel limited or there's complete ease in, in every moment, inseparable from what's going on. And that's, I never thought it's possible. I thought it has to be, be meditated away. There has to be a therapy to just feel that ease and freedom and but knowing that this is the power of open intelligence that is just, that's, that's who we are, basically. It's, it, it, it's nothing to get. And so the Four Mainstays, just to come back to that, the short moments and the trainings, and, the, um, and someone, the trainers who share their experience, like we do here, basically, we, we, we share our experience of open intelligence. It's like, uh, um, we, we, we use like a metaphor, like the mountain guides. You don't walk up the mountain. There can be lots of dangerous paths. I'm not saying that short moments are dangerous actually, but you know, you can, you can slip into a state and you know, think that that's open intelligence. But that makes life much harder because then you want to try to get into a state. But it's far easier to see that open intelligence is inseparable from everything. And so the experience of a, of a trainer helps to, to ask questions and to see, ah, okay, is, confirm your, your own experience. And, um, and then to see other people rely on open intelligence shows that it's really a natural thing. It's not like something apart from our human experience. So you see like this, um, it's a very simple way of getting to know our power. Our power and complete relaxation goes together. And complete freedom. That's what I like because it, it was wow, so limiting just to, to be in a cage of all these thoughts and emotions. But then they don't change, but they open up in to complete empowerment, like, and uh, so that's the power of a short moment right there. And then we can face, of course, you know, it will never stop our day, our thoughts and emotions we call data. It, it'll never stop because, you know, then we have the news every day, some news that could just like, and it can be personal news politics, whatever it is, it can spin us off into a, you know, to great intensity. And um, to know what to count on and what to rely on and what is the power to know what to do, what to do, rather than being completely lost in these, all these thoughts and emotions, that's again the power of a short moment. So life is just, it, it shifts completely. For me, it just shifts completely. It's a fearlessness of, of knowing open intelligence. It's a complete fearlessness. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here, to recognize that our minds are entirely beneficial and that we can use that power to contribute to this world, that is for sure, um, you know, it has to be one step at a time, even if it feels hopeless, 
It has to be one step at a time.